Hello, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up Active Directory on Windows Server 2025. I'm also going to show you how to add a secondary uh, domain controller, and then we're going to check the replication is working, and we're going to go through the DNS setup. So, let's get straight into it. So what you want to make sure is you're logged in to the domain controller as the local admin on the server. And you also want to make sure that you've got it set up with a static IP address. So that's the first step we're going to do. So the IP address will be dependent on your network. So your network administrator will be able to give that info. As I'm in a lab environment, I'm just going to use this address. Now this is an important bit, DNS, I'm going to point it to myself as this is going to be a DNS server with Active Directory and then this alternative address is going to be this loopback address. Okay, hit OK. Right, now we're going to do the DC promo. So within Server Manager, we want to go Manage, Add Roles and Features, Role Based Feature, click Next. Also, another step I forgot to say is you want to first make sure what you want to rename the computer as. So let's call this uh, Infra DC01. We're going to leave it in a work group. Please restart. So I'm going to restart it quickly and then log back on. Okay, so I've restarted my machine. Got the new uh, server name. So manage, add roles and features. Give it a second. So add roles and features. Hit next. I'm going to do next again next again and then here you're going to select active directory domain servers domain services and this is going to install the remote administration tools for active directory module for windows powershell and it's going to install active directory administrative center and the adds snapping and command line tools hit ok on that and DNS server, we're going to add that as well. So we're going to have DNS integrated into Active Directory. Click Next. And on this one, yep, hit Next, Next, Next. And we're going to hit Install. So that is going to install the Windows feature for Active Directory, then it's going to reboot and then we're going to log back in and then we're going to do the DC promo uh, step which will then promote this to a domain controller. So I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to let it restart and then I'm going to come back on again. Okay, so that's feature installation is finished. I'm going to click close and it should... Oh, it didn't ask for a reboot. Okay, so now You'll see this exclamation mark within Server Manager. Promote this server to a domain controller. Click on that. So as this is the first domain controller, you're going to do add a new forest. If this was a second domain controller, you would use this one. So add a new forest. So what we're going to call this new root domain. So I'm going to call it infrasos.com, which is our company name infrasos.com going to do next so functional forest functional level and domain functional level it's going to be windows server 2025 we're going to leave the defaults and then we're going to put in a, a, a password for the directory services restore mode so and we want to keep this password somewhere safe in the event that you need to do a directory restore. So then we're going to hit next. 
Uh, delegation for genius cannot be created because of forest. So this we're going to hit uh, next. It's going to do it automatically. And then we're going to give it a net BIOS name. So we're just going to leave it on the default, which is fine. And then you're going to want to choose the folder that's going to store important database log files. So I'm going to leave it on the default. Just review everything. All looks good. Hit next. It's going to check the uh, pre needed to validate before Active Directory services can be installed. So that will just run through its checks. Okay, so this has passed all the pre -wex. So now we just hit install. And that will go through and promote this to a domain controller. And then it, it will probably ask to restart. So I'm going to pause it here and then come back when it's ready to reboot. Okay, so it's now rebooted and it's now a domain controller. And here you can see the login screen is asking to log in to the, the domain. So I'm going to log in using the local admin account that I had That's all, that should have automatically upgraded it to a domain administrator. Okay. So I upgraded my local administrator account and it's now a domain admin. So if we log in now. Okay, so if we now go to tools, you'll see all these new options. So if we click on Active Directory Users and Computers, here you'll see it's set up the domain, giving you your OU and container structure. And that local admin account that I logged in as has already been added as a domain admin. Okay, that's it. So now we're going to add a second domain controller and add it as a replication partner. So I'm going to log in now to a second Windows 2025 server. Before we jump onto the next section, I just want to in introduce our InfraSOS platform, which is uh, an active directory reporting and auditing, as well as for Office 365 and Azure. If you want to check it out, we've got hundreds of different types of uh, reports on users, groups, account status, admins. We've also got health and security reports so you can drill down and check the full security and compliance for your active directory and make sure it's all been set up correctly check it out link in, in the description in this video we're going to go through the steps now to add this as a secondary domain controller to an existing domain so i've got one existing domain controller and the ip address on that is 192.168.1.10 so this first thing we're going to do is you're going to want to first rename if you haven't already done that. So I'm going to give this DC a name. Hit OK and give that a reboot. Then we're just going to log back in. So now we've changed the host name. Now we're going to give it a static IP address. So all your domain controllers should always have static IP addresses. So this one, the IP address will depend on your network. So you're going to need to talk to your network administrator to get a, an IP address. So I'm just in a lab. So I'm just going to create this address. Now for the, uh, preferred DNS server, I'm going to put the DNS server address of my existing domain controller. So that is 192.168.1.10. And the alternative DNS server is going to be itself. So 168.1.11. That should be it for your IP settings. Yeah. One important thing to mention is once we've promoted this to a domain controller, you're going to want to put the preferred DNS server as itself. So this, in my case, would be .11, and the alternative DNS would be the other, D the other domain controller. But we'll go through that later. Okay, so now 
we're going to install the Windows features. So we're going to go to Manage, Add Roles and Features. Going to hit Next, Next. And you're going to install Active Directory Domain Services and hit Add Features. So it wants to install these tools and PowerShell modules. And we're going to also, we're going to select DNS. So we want to add this as a DNS server. Click next, next, next again, next. And we're going to hit install. Once that is completed, just hit close. Now that is installed. So now you'll see this exclamation mark. Oh, one more thing I forgot is first we want to add it to the domain. So local server, and then we're going to hit change and add this to your domain. So this is my domain. And then the logon box will last for, for uh, credentials. So you want to use an account that has permission to add devices to your domain, which is normally the uh, domain administrator account. And then give that a restart on my log back in. So here you can see now we've we've been added to the domain. So log in. Again, I'm going to log in with the domain administrator account. And then once you've opened up server manager, you'll see this exclamation mark. Click on that. Now we're ready to promote the server to a domain controller. And then on this screen, as we are adding to an existing domain, add a domain controller to an existing domain. And it's already selected our domain. And then you're going to want to supply the credentials for a domain administrator. So I'm already logged in. So it's going to use the current user. If you need to change it and just hit change. Okay. So it wants me to supply an account name. Let's just put in my username and password again. So now it's got the domain admin. It was using the local admin. It was using the local account. So we're going to use select the defaults, leave them as they are. And here, because I haven't set up any sites in Active Directory sites, I'm just going to leave it on the default. And here you're going to set the password for the directory services restore mode. So this is the password that was used setting up the primary domain controller. And then we're going to hit next. Going to hit next again. Can ignore that. And we're going to choose to replicate from any domain controller, or you can specify. As I've only got one, I'm just going to let it detect that. Choose the path to store the database and log files. Hit next. Check everything is okay. Hit next, and it will do a pre pre check. Let that run. There we go. Successful. So now we just hit install. Let that run. After the install, it automatically reboots and then you get the login screen. So I'm going to log in with my account. This is the domain admin account that I've got. Now, the first thing you want to do is update the DNS addresses on your network card to point to itself. That's the recommendations. So, change network adapter. And we're going to put dot one. And then we're going to put the primary domain as the secondary. And that's it. Active Directory is now running with two domain controllers. And you can confirm that in Active Directory Users and Computers under the domain controllers. I've now got two domain controllers running. Now, you want to log back on to the primary domain controller. So I'm logged on here already. And you want to update the DNS server addresses. <clears throat> on its network card to point to the other domain controller so it knows all about it. So open up properties and you want to put the alternative address 
to the secondary DC. Okay, and now we're going to check the replication. So the following command is going to force uh, a sync between domain controllers. I'll leave a link in the description that talks about the command into more details, more detailed. And then if we then run the following command, this will check the status, the replication. And here you can see successful. And I'll check on the other domain controller as well. So I'm on the second one now, same command, boom, successful. And that's it. You're now running Active Directory with two domain controllers. So check out my other video about uh, enabling Active Directory auditing. And now we, we want to make sure that you're uh, actively monitoring your user activity. Check the video in the description. Thank you.